I don't know if I should be telling you this, but I'm going to tell you this anyway. You want to get bit this spring, do you? Well, stay tuned to today's TTD. What's up, folks? And on today's TTD, I'm going to give you three baits. One, two, three. Three baits that's going to get you bit this spring. But first, I'm going to need you to hit that subscribe button. Folks, this right here is the Chapo 90. This is a bait that I'm going to use in the springtime from that two to seven foot zone. Where do I like to fish this bait? Around areas where fish are going to spawn, around docks, around wood, stumps, lay downs, submerged grass, grass lines, anywhere I can make a long cast and on the retrieve, expect a vicious strike. And that's exactly what this bait gives you, is a vicious strike. This bait has super sharp, sticky Fusion 19 hooks on it and creates a lot of, ooh, stuck me right there, creates a lot of commotion on the retrieve. How do I work this bait? Well, I can work this bait in several different ways. I can work this bait with a normal retrieve, I can work this bait with a walk the dog action, or I can work this bait with a rip, pause, rip, pause, and that's gonna create a vicious strike. Let the fish tell you what they want, but this right here is the Chapo 90 in bone color. It comes with a variety of colors. I like to throw the bone colors so I can see it from long distances. And I like to also throw the bluegill uh, pattern as well because largemouth cannot stand bluegill during the spawn. But check out the Chapo 90 and you try it out for yourself this spring. All right, folks, let's talk subsurface. So subsurface, I wanna still get that same type of strike that I would get from the top water, but I want those fish to expose themselves. And one way to do it in the spring is throwing a power bait bottom hopper. And we all know this in the springtime as a floating worm. There are two colors that I love to throw, and one of them is yellow, and the other one is methylate, or a bright orange. And this technique gets you strikes. One thing about this technique that's a little bit special than the top water is that I can throw this into that submerged grass and work it out. And I didn't see it time and time again where those spawning fish or those fry garters will come up and swoop on this bait. Now it's real easy. You wanna throw this on the spinning setup and I'll leave a link to my description below on my floating worm setup using the bottom hopper. And it's real simple. I just want to be able to throw this and, and fan cast this in the same areas that I would throw that top water. And because it's yellow or methylate, that bright orange, I can work it back and I can see it. I can see this bait. I can see this bait in stained to clear water. And those fish are going to get some vicious strikes. And you just want to work it like you would work a power jerk shed. You just want to let it dance in the water and glide. And what it, you see is those large mouths will come out and expose themselves off those beds uh, and expose themselves uh, across that grass line and come out of there and swoop in and grab that floating worm in that bright methylate orange color and this yellow color on the 6.25 inch bottom hopper. Folks, last but not least, we're gonna cover that zone of the bottom and I'm gonna use the good old fashioned Texas rig using the Berkeley, the General, five inch in two colors. I'm gonna use baby bass in stained to clear water. And if the water is stained to muddy, I'm gonna go with a black and blue fleck. And what's good about this bait is it has the power bait max scent. Fish are gonna be caught 45% more because of what this bait uh, protrudes in the water. Power bait is an awesome scent and this is going to get it done. Now I want to cover those same areas, but fish a little slower. I want to be able to throw it 
around docks. I want to be able to pitch this around wood. I want to be able to skip this um, around laydowns and just work it very methodical and slow back to the boat until I come across a bed and those fish pick it up and they're either moving off the bed or they're trying to get them a quick meal. So Berkeley Powerbait Max Scent, five inch, the general, and I'm gonna throw this to that two to seven foot zone on a 3 16th or quarter ounce tungsten bullet weight so I can feel every rock, I can feel the grass, and I can feel what the bait is in contact with. So when I come across that bed and I come across that very, very subtle bite, I know exactly what's going on. I can set that hook and get that fish in the boat. And that's what I'm gonna use right there is the Baby Bass or Black and Blue Fleck Power Bait Max Scent, the general. But there you have it, folks. That's another TTD here in the bass basement covering my top three baits that I use in the spring to get bit. What are your top three baits? Let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And while you at it, hit that bell.